previously on Fly With A Guy. And I am ready to be done for the day. The country boy in me loved that they had corned beef hash. I've been really conscious of like over tipping my service workers. Total spent eating out on this three day trip was $195.46. I've been trying to make my wallet fold all day. Cashing in my dreams, big payout. Underneath my money tree, big shade out. Now these my Hello and Merry Christmas to all of you. Welcome back to another video on the channel. We were just here, you know, last night, 10 o'clock. Here it is today. Um, I'm back at work. We're working a three day trip today. I need to move. Cause they still just <laughs> yeah. Okay, so take two. We are back at work. Today we are starting a three day trip. It is a PM trip, so y'all know that is my favorite. Two flights every day. Today we're flying Miami to Mobe, Montego Bay, Jamaica, and then Mobe to Newark, where we'll lay over tonight. I don't think we get done to somewhere close to midnight, so I don't know how things will go, but that might be the next time I told you. I'm just not on the good foot. But it is Christmas Day, I am in good spirits. We're here, we're making extra extra money on working this holiday already in overtime so we love to see that part and it's just a matter of getting such and then are you guys ready to board i did grocery shop and meal prep um so we'll, i'll show you my food bag and things a little bit later i did pick up some goodies from the store to make a charcuterie board in the flight the second flight this first flight is real quick but the second flight i'll make a little charcuterie board for the crew so you know, we could be a little festive or whatever. And yeah, this should be a good night. So we're already at work, so let's fly. y'all so we have made it to newark and the flight was very pleasant i made my little charcuterie board for the crew so we had our little holiday celebration on the plane and they did get me a customs so they took my pepperoni that was left over from the party and they also took my cantaloupe too much money didn't go down the drain because the cantaloupe was like $2.50 and I only bought half of it on the trip and then that pepperoni was nice pepperoni so <laughs> that was a couple of bucks I mean all in all like $10 got thrown down so I'm not like super mad but yeah that's that we have 11 hours here and we have a noon van time so that's an 11:30 wake up call I want to be up before then because we have things to do. We have things to do. It is no longer Christmas. Wow, that's kind of sad, but hope you all had a great holiday wherever you were and what, whoever you were with and whatever you were doing. Because y'all clearly see where I was. So there's that. I'll talk to y'all in the morning. All right, good morning, freaking flight. So it is day two of our trip. I'm already up, dressed, and ready to head out. Well, I just gotta finish the last minute touches of packing. However, the vlog that I wanted to put out today just finished uploading, so it is divine timing that I'm about to have that out for you all by noon today. This is a two-day trip that I work coming off of the San Juan um, vacation, so it's me getting back into the groove, and this vlog is like maybe two or three videos before the current vlog that I'm on, the trip that I'm on now, that I'm filming, so we have a lot to catch up on um but we just want to keep pushing out the content this week so between christmas and uh, new year's y'all might get quite a few videos so there's that i can't do both at the same time so i'm gonna go ahead and finish up this description box and all the other things and then i will talk to y'all as we are heading um downstairs for our 12 o'clock shuttle all right y'all so we have made it to the airport and look who happened to be at the same hotel we didn't know we didn't and know. didn't even know it until both of our crews got on the shuttle at the same time but i am trying to go grab a, some starbucks before i head to the gate for my report time we're working two flights today. We're going from Newark to Atlanta and then Atlanta to Baltimore where we'll lay over tonight. So 
Here lately, all roads lead to Baltimore. Oh yes, no lie. So we have made it to Atlanta. I am down in the crib room because we have like an hour and a half sit. So I am currently heating up some food that I brought with me and then um, we'll go up and we have one more flight to go to Baltimore. So almost done y'all. TV on. <sighs> Joel, so we have finally made it to Baltimore. And I don't think there's anything major to report from the, oh, I can show you my view. Okay, you see the room. Let me turn the lights off. We just hit 10,000 steps. Baltimore, plane taking off. So yeah, nothing really major to report. I'm gonna sit right here, I hope I don't break this. Let's see, there was a lot of crews coming from the first hotel in Newark. So like the van was like stuck. I think I got a picture of it, like with bags and it was all crew members, that was funny. There was a pilot, not in my crew, but in one of those other crews, who was just handing out Starbucks gift cards to everybody. So he gave me a Starbucks gift card, it's somewhere. I hope I didn't lose it, cause I put it in my pocket, but it's not there anymore, so. I hate when I lose stuff, so. Um, I got that. Uh, let's see, I shot Charmy, so that was a highlight today. I had to sit in Atlanta, easy flight from Atlanta. <laughs> I was working in a cabin this trip, I don't know if I've mentioned that. And so I had this couple sitting in the x so I was chatting with them while we were boarding. And another pa passenger came on and they was like, yeah, because she had on a red skin shirt, excuse me, a Washington shirt. But we DC for life over here. So I was like, uh, -uh I gotta leave, I gotta leave. I gotta leave y'all, y'all talking too much. When I was coming back later on through the cabin, she was like, you must be a Cowboys fan. And I was like, and is. That was just a nice little banner back and forth, you know, where you can have those personable moments with your passengers. We got a compliment today for being kind. So we always liked that. The only crappy today was that we got here to Baltimore early and waited 30 minutes for them to come bring the jet bridge. So we were just sitting there, like rolled right into the gate and just waiting. And as the passenger was deplaning, she grabbed her bag out of the overhead bin. It got caught on the actual bin cover and snapped the whole thing off. It just, <clears throat> so I don't know what's gonna happen with the outbound flight because that plane was going back out. But these be the type of things that delay your flight. If you be, if they ever be like, yeah, your flight is delayed for, you know, such and such issue. It'd be stuff like this. Somebody done broke the van and now the plane can't fly. We are here for, it was supposed to be like almost 20 hours now. I think it's closer to 19. Um, but me and some of my coworkers are gonna go out and probably grab a drink. I'm gonna put away the rest of my food. So I need to hurry up and change clothes because I've wasted a good chunk of my 15 minutes sitting here talking to y'all. On day three, well this is day two of the trip, this is what the bowl looks like, my bag looks like. So all these bowls are empty. This one had the cantaloupe that customs threw out and I had two meals that I've eaten. I just have one more meal of the chicken, rice, and green beans left, so that'll be for tomorrow. There's some cheese left over from the charcuterie party. Pickles left over. Oh, it's that potato salad. That'll be for tomorrow. Yogurt for tomorrow. Hummus for tomorrow. Cheese and boiled egg. All of this will be for tomorrow. Is this a freezer? No freezer section. I'm gonna put all this away. I'm gonna call the front desk, see if they can sell my ice packs. I'm gonna change clothes and we're gonna go out. All right, y'all, so. <sighs> we just walked back from dinner and I'm trying to pretend like we don't like it. I'm trying to pretend like I'm not a little bit windy. I currently have the game on this TV here in the room. I'm about to start winding down, take a shower, do nighttime skincare and all that kind of good stuff. Plug up all my devices and we're gonna call it a night. I put out a video today. Shout out to all of you all who have already seen it. I'm probably gonna get, like, put my laptop in the bed with me and reply to some of y'all comments and start editing the next one because like I said, 
the content will just keep coming. Good morning, y'all. So, it is the last day of our trip. Day three of three, but really six of six. At least I have quite a few hours here because our van time isn't until 2 p.m. And I think it's 10 a.m. Hey Siri, what time is it? It's 10 on 2. 10 on 2, see. She understood the assignment. We had to get her together a couple weeks ago. I went downstairs. I told you all the last time I stayed here that this hotel gives us uh, like a breakfast voucher. So we can get up to like $10 worth of something, which covers any of the things in their menu. So I got this little bowl here, the original. It's supposed to come with like bacon, cheese, and egg over potatoes. But potatoes are like in the form of like very, very, very like small shoestring fries, I guess. I made a cup a very average hotel room coffee. Got a bottle of water from downstairs. And then I got yogurt and more boiled eggs from out of my lunch bag in case I don't feel satisfied with this. Before I start eating this, I did want to talk today about something that I was sent from our partners over at Savage Heat. They sent me one of their ovens. So for those of you who have been following me for a while, you know that I am big on meal prepping and traveling with my own food. It helps not only for you to uh, maintain a healthy diet, eat more balanced, eat clean, but it also saves you a ton of money. If you, if you watched my last video, you know how much I spent eating out on a three day trip. It can, it can really get up there. That was a little extreme, but it can get up there. So I'm always trying to bring food with me on my uh, trips, three bags for life because we're going to always have that meal bag. So they reached out to me. They wanted to send me one of their portable ovens and I was like, yes. Yeah. So I have not even used it yet because I've been gone and, and or not on a trip with a meal prep food to use it. So I'm excited to bust this puppy open and test out some of the features. Yeah, I know I have my ride or die high logic mini that stays and my roller board and this is the Savage Heat right here. Automatically I do notice that it is bigger because it is much deeper than the Hot Logic Mini but I'm going to take a moment and read through um, some of the information about it and its uses because I do know it has quite a few features that are different. And I would like to be informed before I put it to use this afternoon. So I'm going to eat my little food, look through the brochure, and then we're gonna talk about this a little bit later. Let's do it. I am very proud of myself because I was productive the whole time. I did not leave like I thought I was going to do. It's real gloomy outside right now. This has been my view sitting right here at the desk. And so it's just been raining off and on. But it looks very cold out there. And I just don't want any parts of it. So I just sit right here. We got a video edited and uploading now. It's just a day in the life vlog. And I got some details flushed out for the birthday trip that's coming up in January. I did respond to some business emails. We've done quite a few things <laughs> on this layover, but it is now time to start getting ready. We have a two o'clock van pickup, so I have about mm, 44 minutes to bring my life together. And by that, I mean pack up all of this and this and that and this and that and that i swear if you give me more than 11 hours on a layover stuff is everywhere but i do have my food over here heating up in the savage heat so i probably should have like read the directions before i brought it on the trip because the directions say that it should only be used with glass and or metal like containers basically no plastic and all of my meal prep is in plastic bowls so what I do notice about it is that you have the ability to set a timer and a temperature setting. So 
the timer goes in 30 minute increments from 30 minutes all the way up to three hours and the temperature settings go from like one to six with like obviously one being the lowest and six being able to cook raw meat so you can actually like cook in this if you have the right equipment so I put it on a low setting of two for 30 minutes hopefully I don't melt my bows but it'll be a good test for it and I just want to heat up my food so that I can eat it later on in the flight today we are working two flights we're going from Baltimore to Cancun Cancun to Miami done it before we're used to it so let me get packed up let's hmm. <laughs> We have a 244 report, but somebody just put in the group chat that our plane just left Cancun. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, uh, it would be wonderful if they pushed our report time back, but I know they're not going to, so let me go ahead and pretend like I'm going to be on time and get myself together. Archaic, playing games, we arcade them. I'm more fly than cicadas. Watch the flow, watch the cadence. Alpha Banks, my name is New Orleans, what I'm claiming. I step in, they like, damn, dog. We gotta switch up the plan, dog. He is not what we plan for. Team sports, so we playing ball. Get game and that stay cold. Not a lot that we pay for. Closet looking like a shopping mall. Don't take much for me to change clothes. When I'm off that, I get my lyrical car crash. Like a five star frog splash. RVD couldn't call that. The whole effing show, gotta let him know. This is gold, the plans never roll. This is tone and I said it though. Underdog Central, gotta let him know. Gotta let him know. We on that, on that. This, that, this, that throwback. We won't ever go back. We on that. On that, this that, this that throwback, this that one and only. We on that, on that, this that, this that throwback, we won't ever go back. We on that, on that, this that, this that throwback, this that one and only. We have made it to the airport. Um, there has been some schedule changes in our flight. Was supposed to leave 3:30. It's now scheduled to leave at 4:50. And we're no longer operating the second leg. We are deadheading from Cancun to Miami. So we are just sitting here chilling and I'm eating the food that I heated up in my Savvy heat. So it didn't melt my bowl, which is a good thing. And I also like the fact that I could set it from a timer so I could just set it and forget it. Set it and forget it. If you know, you know. But I set it for those 30 minutes on that level too and it completely heated up my food. Chill out here until it's time to go. Probably start editing another video and responding to y'all comments for the video I put out today. Letting them know, hard as a rock, I'm setting the stone That I was the kid that they left in the cold Now I got heat coming out of my flow Central, 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 Central. No matter what you into, Central. I'ma leave it on mental. Central. Ain't nothing about the Central. So we have made it to Mexico. Um, all the pastures are bad about plants been clean. We're back on. I'm not operating this. I've been pulled off of it and I'm now dead heading. So I'm getting paid to fly as a passenger back to what Miami and they brought a crew in what? What to operate I'm this searching. flight from Cancun to Miami. So not a complete meltdown, you know, there's other airlines are doing it. The flight's not canceled. It might be delayed, but it ain't canceled. So one more flight, y'all, and we'll be done. These grands, they do it all while I'm rocking my vans. I do it all for the folks in the stands. I'm going hard cause they clapping their hands. They yelling and screaming, yeah, I really need it. Never been soft and it's just I got the sauce and no need to season. No matter the cost, I cop when I see it. Never one up it, no, you never beat it. The look in my eye, it's easy to see it. I want the prize cause I am a genius in the scene. All right, you all, so I have made it back to the airport. Just now getting a chance to talk to you all because I gave uh, a crew member a ride to the layover hotel. There was another reserve that was going to a different hotel and I was like look I can give you a ride too if you want it like everybody can get a ride I'm out here like Oprah you can get a ride and you can get a ride and you can get a ride everybody get home tonight this was supposed to be my day off I was supposed to be done at 10 p.m. but I have been working all the way until 1 30 in the morning however technically it's not considered the, the next day yet real weird yes I know that means I'm still good to work my trip that starts on the 29th. So we will officially be working for 10 days straight. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out this vlog right here. I did like a hybrid on this trip in terms of eating out. So I was meal prep, but I also ate out some. It's been a total of 
better than what it was when I uh, did not meal prep at all. Brandon, I'm a guy who flies, and I will see you all when I go back to work tomorrow, I think. Yes.